the martyrdom of Zacharias the prophet. On this day, Saint Zacharias the priest was martyred by the hand of, the, of Herod the king, when the angel Gabriel announced to him the birth of John his son. He did not believe his word, and the angel made him dumb, unable to speak until the child was born. When they named the child, he asked from a writing table and wrote that his name would be John. Then he spoke and praised God. The Holy Gospel gave testimony concerning him that he and his wife were righteous, walking in the law, working in the law of God without blemish. When our Lord Christ was born and the wise men came to worship him, he got tra was troubled and feared for his kingdom. Therefore he gave the order to slay the, all the children of Bethlehem for to, for, from, two years old, from two years old and under, so he would kill, so he would kill the Lord Christ among them. The angel of God appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Take the, chil take the child and flee to Egypt. Saint Joseph took the child Jesus and Saint Mary, his mother, and went to Egypt. His mother and went to Egypt, as the angel of the Lord had told them, had told him. But John's mother took him and fled the mountain where she where she dwelt, bringing bring him up for six years. After he departed to the to heaven, to heaven, the child remained in the desert till till the day of his appearance to Israel. It was said it was said that during the slaughter of the children, he got thought that John was the Christ. He requested John from his father Zacharias, who, who said, I do not know where the child is. They threatened, he, they threatened to kill him, but he did not heed. He got ordered his soldiers to slay him. It was also said that he got was sought John to stay him. Zacharias escaped with him to the temple and put him on the altar. And when they caught up with him, he took he told the soldiers, "From here I accepted him from the Lord." And thereupon, the angel of God snatched away from the child and took him to the desert Zivana. When they did not find the child, they slew Zacharias between the temple and the altar. Zacharias the priest, son of Barachias, is not Zacharias the prophet, who was one of the twelve minor prophets. Zacharias the prophet was not murdered, but died, in, and his body was found without decay. The part of Moses the prophet On this day, on this day also, the righteous Moses, the head of the prophets, departed. He labored on behalf of the people of God till his death and delivered up himself for them. It was he who worked miracles and wonders in Egypt and in the Red Sea, when he became of age, refuses, refused to be called the son of the daughter of Pharaoh. He brought him up when his, when his parents left him on the banks of the river because they were afraid of Pharaoh who had commanded the slaughter of all male children of the Hebrews. When the daughter of Pharaoh found him by the head by, by the river, she took him and reared him as her own son. When he had completed his forty years, he saw an Egyptian slaying one of the of the Hebrews, and struck away he avenged the Hebrew and slew the Egyptian. The next day he saw the two of the Hebrews fighting, and he attempted to make peace between them. He, who was in the wrong, told him, Do you want to slay me as you, as you did slay the Egyptian yesterday? Because of this day, Moses fled to the, to the land of Midian, when he married and begot two sons. When he was eighty years old, a fire appeared to him in the bus, but the bus was not consumed. When he moved close to behold the great sight, the Lord spoke to him from the bus and, the, and commanded him to bring out the people of Israel from the land of Egypt. God 
walk at his hand the train plaques of the upon the Egyptian uh, upon the Egyptians. The first was the river which turned into blood, and the last was the slaughter of the firstborn of Egyptians. He brought the people out, and he divided the Red Sea and made them pass through it, and then he brought with and he brought back the water of the enemies. He brought down for them manna in the desert for forty years, and he made the water flow from a rock, and in spite of that he grumbled against him, and many times he wanted to stun him, but he was long suffering with them, and he prayed to God for them, and because he loved them greatly, he said to God, If you will not forgive these people this their transgression, then blot out my name from your book. The book, the book testified that he spoke with God five hundred and seventy times as a man talks with his friend, with his friends, with his friend, and he was called the mouthpiece of God. When Moses came uh, came down from Mount Sinai, after being with God, the two table with the two tables of testimony in his hands, he, his face was shining. The children of Israel were afraid to come near him, so he put a veil on his face when he came near to talk to them. When he was 120 years old, God commanded him to commit the leadership of the people of to Joshua, the son of Nun, his disciple. Moses called him and commanded him with the commands of law of God in his law, and informed Joshua that he was the one to bring the people into the promised land. After Moses had made the tabernacle of witness and everything which was in it, in it as, as God had commanded him, he died in the mountain. There he was buried there, and God hid his body so the children of Israel would not find it and worship it because the book testifies there never rose up a prophet in Israel as, as Moses. When Satan wished to reveal the body, Michael the archangel rebuked him and prevented him for doing so as the Saint, so as Saint Jude testifies in his epistle. 3. The Martyrdom of Saint Dimides On this day also, Saint Diomed was martyred. He was from Dersheba of the chair of Dantu. He loved the church, was kind to the pure and visited the sick. A luminous man appeared to him and commanded him to go to receive the crown of martyrdom and promised him heavenly rewards. He, re he rejoiced greatly and left his parents when, and went forth from the city. He prayed to God to help, to, to help him to endure the turtle for his namesake. For his namesake. He came to the city of Atribus and confessed the Lord Christ before, before the governor who tortured him severely. Then they sent him to Lucianus the governor of Alexandria, when he was on the boat, the Lord Christ appeared to him, comforted him, encouraged him, and promised him everlasting happiness, and his joy rejoiced. Lucianus tortured him with the different kinds of tortures, then gave the order to cut off his head. Thus he received the crown of Mantidom. The people of, C the people of his city came and took away his body and paid a great honor to it.